What's up, you guys? I am here with Jason. I, I'm great. I've watched the show since the very beginning. I can't oh, believe it's heart. back. Yeah, it's, yes. it's crazy. It's, yes. it's been a long time. And a lot has changed. Congratulations on your sobriety. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've actually had to take, um, I've taken some classes just learning more about just addiction and that sort of thing. It is a daily struggle. How yeah. was it going back into the hills when there's all these expectations and, of course, like temptation as well? How was that? Obviously, I mean, it was it was an emotional roller coaster. I mean, where I was at 10 years ago when we did this, I was in a different place in my, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and yeah. and coming back into this. And, you know, for me, it was weird reconnecting with the cast again for the first time, because it's like, yeah, I met them in the past, but I actually did not know yeah. them, you know? Yeah, so yeah. to meet them sober, it was a totally different experience. Wow. And, and I really enjoyed it. But going into it, you know, it's just, you got to be in the moment, be present, you know, and just take it for what it is. And, uh, you know, don't don't get too overly consumed with it. And who's been the most supportive this whole journey? My wife, for sure. Yeah, My yeah. wife, for sure. And the, your wife's on the cast. Any yes. Anyone else on, on the, the cast ca that everybody. we wouldn't expect, maybe? Everybody on the show has been super supportive. I think they've all seen me go through the trials and tribulations yeah. and to see where I'm at today and, you know, really, really changed my life and, and trying to help and, and give back to other people. So, I mean, they all supported. Nobody was, you know, giving me crap for it. So. Yeah. so, obviously, you've been doing this for a while, being on camera, meeting a lot of celebrities. Who's the most famous person in your phone? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to go through and find out. Okay. I don't know. What was? Have you ever been starstruck by a celebrity? Yeah. Um, You've been in LA, so. Uh, yeah, I think I think probably one of the coolest people I've ever met was probably Johnny Depp. Oh, good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, craziest thing ordered on Postmates. I don't order Postmates. Uber Eats. Don't have Uber Eats either. Dang, Jason, you just you're just pretty. I'm, my my, my, my wife's day. got it all dialed in. My <laughs> okay. wife cooks everything, and she makes sure we eat healthy. Oh, so. Okay. 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 Best advice ever given to you? That's a loaded question. Yeah. I've had so many people Maybe give think me such about good advice. People, I think, I think going to those classes and learning about addiction. One of the, one of the, I would say, top reasons why people can't overcome it is because they haven't taken responsibility yet. Taking you ownership. have to first, yeah, you have to take ownership first. Right. Was there ever like an inspirational person, just someone that was like, okay, now it clicks? I can tell you. I mean, right away. I mean, who the most inspirational and motivational person to me was Dr. Drew. I mean, yeah. for sure. I mean, he's always somebody that was there and has always given me words of wisdom. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, you know, the real piece to that is really just getting honest with yourself and accepting that you have an issue and being willing to surrender and uh, you know take direction and that's that's something but that's somebody that has always stood by my side through thick and thin and you know the other thing is obviously just keeping the people around you um, positive obviously I think one of the hardest things for people with addiction is having to say goodbye to their friends because they really really are those people's friends yeah no and I think it's look you're a product of your environment so whoever you surround yourself with you're gonna associate in pretty much like-minded behaviors and yeah. so it's important that you change your people, places, and things, or at least be around people that are going to support you. You know, that's a really big piece that, you know, if people aren't going to support you, like you asked a question about the cast, it's like, I'm not going to have those people in my life. You know what I mean? I, I have the freedom to choose who I associate with and who I surround myself with, and it's not going to be with negative people. And so, was it hard to let those people go? Did you, are you still friends with them? Because obviously they probably have some issues with addiction, possibly themselves. Oh, 100%. So I've had to definitely get rid of people out of my life. And I mean, I was in such a deep, dark place that it wasn't a problem. I'm getting rid of them oh, really? and actually people that were very close to me and good friends of mine actually set boundaries uh, and said we're not going to watch or watch you do this to yourself we're not going to condone this you know we're here we love you we support you but not until you're willing to stop yeah. well congratulations so on getting much. this far I appreciate it Thanks.